Get the better of your wallet. Is he taking the piss? I'm not sure. I don't really understand what he said. There's Ripley. I want to hear this from him. Here's to my daughter. Your daughter? How long have you known about me and Natalie? Oh, about a week or so. So why wait till now to tell me? When I found out you were poking my wife, I wanted to kill you. And kill her. And then I thought, come on, Ripley, what's in it for you? That's how good a businessman Ripley holds his cock. Even his wife shagging another man is an opportunity. I expect that's what Maggie Thatcher meant when she said entrepreneurs were special people. You think I'm thick, don't you? No. But I notice things. And I've noticed this. The last couple of weeks, my wife's looked happier and more beautiful than I've seen her look for years. She's a beautiful woman. And when I found out about you and her, I realised it was you that was making her happy. I'm beautiful. Not anymore. Oh, well, now that's up to you, isn't it? And Natalie. She loves you, you prick. I've been watching her pretending. Pretending she's fine, pretending she wants to be with me, but no. I can see the misery coming off her like steam off a curry house flannel. You think that's true? I know it. Now, it seems to me, however much she loves you, she's never going to forgive you for fitting her husband up for murder on her daughter's wedding day. They talk about shitting in a Valentine's card. I'm not fitting you up. I've got new evidence. Haley's changed her statement. Said you killed him. You believe it? Well, I believe it's a strong case. All right. Charge me. Arrest me. But you know you'll never see Natalie again. You trying to corrupt me? Oh, I think Natalie got there before me. So what are you proposing? I'm suggesting that you leave me and Danny alone, and in return I'll give you and Natalie my blessing. Now, I don't give a shit about you, but I do want her to be happy. I really do. On the other hand, you could arrest me. Not only will you not see Natalie again, but you stand a good chance of losing the case. Once your superiors find out that you've been nobbing the chief suspect's wife. Do you still think I'm thick? Do we have a deal? Of course, it still leaves us with an unsolved murder. Well, if you can live with that, so can I. Where is he? I don't know. He's a free man. What? He didn't do it, neither did his son. I'm taking this case to the CPS without you. What were these doing in your locker? They were never in my locker. Young copper. Boring case, some clown for his senior officer. Tragic you should have turned to drugs like that. Maybe we didn't give you enough support. You wouldn't. Yeah, I would. And who would the senior officers believe? You or me? <laughs> she must be some shag, that wife of his. I love her. And that makes it all right, does it? I'm not going to close the book on this. I'm going to come back to it one day. You can do it like one day. Oh, and you won't go home empty-handed today. What do you mean? I've got you in arrest. Got to save Ripley Holden.
fine. If you go for incorporation, you could get 50% of your tax in a few years. Well, he was impressed, let me tell you. Adrian Ma, I'm arresting you on suspicion of false accounting. What? You do not have to say anything, but it may arm your defence if you do not mention when questioning something which you later rely on the You are making a big mistake, young man. Anything you do say may be used in evidence. You'd like to come this way, sir? I came to find you. Sure you didn't come to arrest my husband? That was a cry for help. <laughs> you seemed so straightforward when I met you. So different from Ripley, with all his schemes and his lies and his saying one thing and thinking another. Now it seems I've fallen for another schemer. I stopped pretending from the moment I fell in love with you. When was that? Oh, about five minutes into our first date. If you love me, that's when you should have told me the truth. I couldn't. So then I tried to stop seeing you, but you... I look at you and I just feel... Well, it feels like I have been missing somebody all of my life, and it's you. I'm staying with Ripley. At least I know what I'm getting. You strip away all the pretense, all the play act, and all the cops and robbers. What's left? Eh? You loving me, and me loving you. <laughs> You're so good at saying what I want to hear. Maybe I'm just seeing what you feel, too. Maybe you just got an eye for weakness. So, Steve. 